What's up, everybody? John Tyler coming to you here. I um, wanted to make this video for those of you that don't know me, because I, I post a lot of fitness pictures and videos on my Instagram and Facebook, and uh, just got a TikTok. I'm going to start uploading some cool stuff on there as far as lifting and, and foods and and hobbies and just enjoying life from all aspects uh, very devoted family man so I like to share you know the hobbies with the, the kids and the wife as well because people need to see all aspects of life from somebody else's viewpoint sometimes and it doesn't have to be just about fitness so I want to hop on here and just explain a little bit about myself uh, 31 years old Grew up in Muncie, Indiana. Went to Cowan my entire life, K through 12. So that's a good little school, uh, small town school. There are only a few hundred in the whole school, K through 12. So it was small. Uh, I liked the small town living growing up. It was it was nice and being able to go to the one school. K through 12 was, it was nice, it, it really, it was nice having that stability and being grounded, so, but anyway, I want to hop on here and just talk about myself, um, for a short second, kind of explain what it is that I want out of my fitness journey and just in life itself, I started lifting I think it was back in 2014. I think it was June 1st of 2014, to be exact. Um, I was 24 years old. Uh, 160 pounds, soaking wet. Not much muscle to me. Had a little, little bit of a gut on me. Um, my main goal was to get a gym membership and just kind of tone up. I wanted to have a six pack instead of that little belly I had on me. So I got a membership there at the Planet Fitness there in Muncie. Uh, started going with a few different buddies. And a few months into it, I started seeing results. And that's kind of when everything spiked to be what it is today. I wanted more, I was hungry for more. Every time I reached or achieved a goal, I set a new one and kept kept trying to climb that mountain, if you will, uh, to now I'm nationally qualified bodybuilder for heavyweight bodybuilding and classic physique. Uh, no exact dates on what show we'll be doing next year, but anyway, I can get to that a little later, but so I started lifting 2014, like I said, and I, I just, I needed something for everything I was going through then. Um, I had a lot on my plate then. I'm not going to get into that because uh, sometimes people's personal business is their personal business. And those of you that know me know what I've gone through. And, you know, we're not all perfect. I'm not saying I was perfect by any means. But I was going through some rough times. And the gym not only helped me physically, seeing results, and I'm like, wow, you know not only uncovering some muscle that I didn't even know I had, but I think it's time to try and make these muscles a little bigger. So, I went from just trying to get in shape to wanting to build muscle. Uh, I was always kind of interested in bodybuilding as a sport. It's very interesting and just amazing what these athletes can do to their bodies to uh, in shape for a show, um, off season bulk, just the whole nine yards. It's it's amazing the dedication and devotion you have to put your mind and your body through. So I kind of want to test the waters with that, and that really, like I said, helped me get to where I am now. But it really helped me mentally. Like I said, I was going through a lot of a lot of stress. Um, I couldn't sleep. I still don't get very good sleep, but it, it's better than it used to be. Um, I no 
noticed every time that I went to the gym, I not only was sore physically, but mentally I was rejuvenated. It was just like uh, fuel that it just filled me up. I, I felt better about myself, better about situations I was going through. I, I started learning that no matter what life throws at you, if you go to the gym and you lift heavy weights, you know, do do a little more than what your body's used to or really wants to do at the time. That set or that rep really taught you a lot about yourself because you realize that no matter what life throws at you, it can't be near as hard as that set or rep you just did. So you train your mind that, you know, when you're lifting physically to get stronger and, and bigger or lose weight, whatever your goal is, that it really helps you out just as much mentally. And that, that to me has been my saving grace. I, it really turned around how I looked at life, uh, my goals I had in life. I just kept pushing and that's one thing I can say I've always been one that you know I, I've never really quit on anything I've always tried to see it through no matter if it's something I was like ah, I don't really don't really know if I like this but I at least tried to see it through because it, you know you you're taught growing up that you start a job you finish it at least I was always taught by uh, the men in my life uh, my papa and my uncle that you start a job you finish it whether you like it or want to do it or you find out soon after you start it that this ain't for you, you, you still finish the job that's at hand. So I, uh, I, I learned at a young age that you, you don't quit. So that, that helps in the gym. Um, I just, I never quit. And mentally that kind of boosted that aspect of it even more. I just, I knew, like I said, if if I can conquer the, the weight room and, and lift the weight that I thought I never possibly could, then I could handle anything that life throws at me. And, you know, what, it's been eight years now? About, yeah, a little over eight years now. I have grown more mentally than I have physically, and looking back at pictures and stuff, I've definitely grown physically. It's, it's crazy the, uh, the amount of muscle and size that I've put on over the years. But I know deep down that I've grown more mentally, like I, I keep saying. It. But I really want to drive that home for people. It, it helps. It, it's a stress relief. It's therapy. It is therapy. And if you ask anybody that works out for fun, CrossFit, bodybuilding, powerlifting, strong man, cardio, whatever your cup of tea is for fitness, it is therapy. And there's nothing wrong with going to a therapist. There's nothing wrong with talking to people. Don't get me wrong. But I've noticed that my best therapy is the weight room. Um, you're having a rough day, uh, a rough week, month, year. Try, try going and working out for a little bit and try to stick with it. Uh, that's the biggest problem is people don't see results. They're even more tired or sore. They don't get through that first little hump. And once you get over that hump and, you know, it becomes more of a, a day-to-day thing that you're doing than, you know, something that's standing in your way, as far as I, I got to go to the gym today, I hate that. It turns into, man, it was a rest day, and I didn't go to the gym, and I'm whole day's messed up. Uh, once you reach that part of the fitness journey, it, it becomes natural to you, and mentally and physically, you just you grow. So I, I like to, you know, stress that to people. It, it's not just physical. And I know everybody's tired of seeing everybody's fitness posts and pictures and diets, uh, pictures of the food on social media. I've heard so many people say, why would you want to look like that? Why, you know, 
Why you want to be a big muscle head? Why you post pictures of food? Nobody, nobody cares what you ate. We do it for the small people, the small amount of people that do care. And you know they're they're trying to figure out a better alternative to go about life and and relieve stress and just a, a hobby, build a hobby and have something to look forward to daily and that's working out for a lot of us so that's why we do it we don't do it to hey look at me yeah it's nice hearing compliments from people and oh you're looking good man you're looking big whatever the case may be there yeah it's awesome to hear and my head gets a little big sometimes all of our heads get bigger when somebody's complimenting us it's it's human nature it makes us feel like we're you know doing what we set out to do when people are noticing it so it it does help but that's not why 99% of us do it and we don't do it to try to make money somehow try to you know put us in the limelight we do it to help others and that's what I've always tried to do is help others in and out of fitness if you're having a bad day reach out to somebody and talk to them about it talk to me about it there's multiple ways of getting a hold of me uh social media um my instagram's underscore tmodg underscore that's underscore t-m-o-d-g underscore facebook's john tyler reach out to me message me day night 2 a.m i don't care reach out to me and, and talk to me if there's something on your mind and I've said this in other videos, I'm not perfect and by any means. And, you know, a lot of people might be like, well, why do you think that people want to reach out and talk to you? It's not about that. Sometimes you just need a shoulder to lean on and an ear to talk to. And, and I like to be that guy for people because it's hard. I, when I struggled with a lot of things, straight out of high school, I was dealing with a lot of situations. And there was a lot of time it was well before I met my wife that I didn't feel like I could talk to anybody so I bottled it up bottled it up didn't cry about it didn't really want to talk about it but I thought about it 24 7 and a lot of you that are like me that your mind runs 24 7 even if you're asleep it's it's always on a hundred different things the best thing to do is talk to people and like I said before I met my wife I I didn't really have that many people I could lean on there were a few and those people you know when you see this you know who you are and I eternally grateful to those people for that but it's hard to reach out to somebody especially if you're a man and admit fault admit defeat admit that you know you're not perfect and that's hard for anybody, but especially a man. It takes our pride away a little bit more, I think. And, and I'm not being sexist there. It, it takes pride away from a woman just as much. But men kind of try to keep that chip on their shoulder. And when you're in a vulnerable state of mind, you feel like that chip's been knocked off. So you don't want to talk to people. So if you ever need to talk to anybody and... I know I'm a stranger to a lot of you that will be seeing this, but reach out to me. I talk to me. I will respond. It might not be right away. It might be a day or two later because I'm busy, uh, very busy with uh, everything going on in life right now. But I will reply and I'll try to help you through it. There's different people have different outlooks on things. Different people been through different things in life, handled things differently. There's always a different outlook on everything so getting you know multiple people's opinion or outlook on something is can be a good thing um you're gonna get negative backlash from it but that's life keep pushing so but i'm not gonna stray off too much from that i wanted to you know talk a little bit more about why i am trying to reach out to people so much regarding fitness or just daily living but like I said, I've been lifting for about eight years now. I've only done two bodybuilding shows. I did one in 2016. It was the Indiana State Championship. Uh, I came in third and 
my class and classic physique because I think there was only three or four of us. So, you know, I kind of one of the pity trophies, but you know what? I'll take it. It's still a cool trophy. It's still on my shelf, but now it's next to some trophies that I was honored to receive about three weeks ago at the Premier Muscle show that I did in Muncie. Uh, I had to do a hometown show, but I earned every bit of those those trophies and medals I received, and I came home with three first places, a second, and a fourth, and I deserve that fourth place. Uh, there were three outstanding athletes that they brought it better on stage than I did, so... You know, I deserve that. I deserve that second place. Uh, my posing wasn't necessarily on point with that class. So, uh, I deserve every placing that I got. And I, I do feel that I deserve those three first places. So, I've got a long way to go. Uh, like I said, it's, that was only my second show. I've still got a lot to do. I've been with my coach for about... A, 11 months, almost a year, I think a year in November, so I haven't done very much with a coach, uh, I picked, I say picked, but I reached out to one of the best bodybuilders in the game today, uh, Nathan Epler, he's out of Indianapolis, Indiana, I reached out to him, you know, asked him, are you taking any clients, he's, he's said it was by all means we hooked up on different stuff that I needed to send him online and a year later he's got me to where I am now and I, I couldn't have done it without him he's remarkable he placed in the Olympia last year and the things he's about to achieve this ne within this next year and in the future is <laughs> crazy so look out for him he's he's a beast so but you know, having a coach, that definitely helped me. Uh, we all need somebody else to help us, no matter who we are or what we're doing or what our goals are. My coach, an Olympian, has a coach. His coach has a coach. Everybody you see on the stage in the Olympia has a coach. We all need that help from people. Sorry, I had a bump. And I'm on the road right now, so sorry for the video quality, but... I'm really busy, so this is kind of the only chance I had to hop on here and talk to everybody. Uh, I wanted to do this at home after the gym today, but I ran out of time, so I'm headed out of town for work right now, so I figured what better time to do this than now. Um, I am hands-free. It's on a phone mount, so I am being safe, <laughs> but... But like I said, we all we all need somebody to help us sometimes. So we can't do everything alone. And no matter how much pride we all have, like I said, it it's hard to lose that pride. But this isn't elementary. This isn't high school anymore. Throw all that out the window. We're not perfect. Nobody's more popular than anybody else we all bleed red i don't care who you are you can be a ceo of a multi-billion dollar company or the janitor cleaning the bathrooms i'm gonna shake your hand the same for both of you and i think we all need to look at it like that and nobody's better than anybody so if i can reach out to somebody else and put a smile on their face when they're having a bad day even if i'm having a bad day i'm gonna try and do it and it's the little things, that that little gesture of trying to put a smile on somebody's face that just looks down on the dumps, you might have just changed their whole day around, their whole week around. You could have got them thinking, you know, I want to do that. And then, boom, a week or two months, years later, that could have changed them. Uh, you, you never know. It's the little things that definitely help. So, just being supportive and helping people that's that's the main goal and that's why I'm trying to really drive home that it's not all about fitness it's not all about you know hitting the weights or what diet plan you're on 
it's about living life too and trying to have fun and enjoy the hobbies and I just posted a video I think this morning on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. And it started out, yeah, I was in the weight room there in uh, Bristol, Tennessee, Saturday morning before the race. Me and my wife uh, got in a great leg day, a great little gym there in uh, Johnson City, Tennessee. And then that was it. I I got my leg day in, and then we were out of the gym. The fitness was on the back burner that day after that. We... We enjoyed ourselves at the race. We enjoyed our hobby, which is NASCAR. That's one of our hobbies. If you haven't been to a NASCAR race, go. You're not going to be disappointed. But enjoy the hobbies. Golfing, fishing, hunting, watching football, baseball on TV, having that favorite team, crafts, whatever your hobby is, do it. And be proud about it. I don't care if you collect Pokemon cards or, you know, you're, you're in the anime you know, whatever that is, enjoy your hobbies. And who cares what anybody else thinks about it? Just enjoy your hobbies. Try to lift other people up along the way. And I think this world will be a, a better place. But I don't want to stray off topic too far there either. This is also, you know, about fitness. And that's why I'm trying to really broaden my horizon in the fitness industry because I think that it's kind of I don't want to put any negative look on anything in the fitness industry by any means but I think it's kind of straight away from what the main point needs to be and that is being healthy and fit in life it's about life and family, friends children, husbands, wives that's our lives we it's you know we all have family we all have jobs we all have friends so we all need to talk about that too it's not just one-sided here so I, I like to involve it all together so that's that's kind of my goal with trying to you know get involved deeper with the fitness industry is putting it all together as one because um, it all goes hand in hand Like I said earlier, it builds you up mentally and physically. Well, that mentally helps with the day-to-day 9-to-5 job that is stressful or the the kids are on one for the fifth day in a row and your nerves can't take it anymore. Um, You're struggling financially. I've been there. I I think we've all been there. It's, It's rough nowadays. So, you know, whatever aspect you want to look at it as I it all goes hand in hand so that's why I was kind of hitting on that mental aspect earlier just as much as the physical but that's why I'm trying to join the first form crew if you will Um, I entered in for the elite athlete search for first form an honor to be able to be a part of such a outstanding group of people um, just uh, the loyalty they have for each other and for everybody else um, I haven't met one person from that company that hasn't been loyal humble very kind um, you know we'll talk to you like we're all humans and not just as dollar signs not trying to just blow smoke and be on with the next person they genuinely care about people their dedication and commitment to helping others in and out of fitness themselves is truly remarkable so i really really would love to be a part of that crew so and you know growing up i always wanted to be a a sponsored athlete a professional bodybuilder so i'm trying the best i can to get there if it doesn't work out right now, then, you know, it will eventually. I got to keep going. Like I said earlier, you, you don't quit. Don't back down. Keep keep crying and keep trying to chase them goals. They will be they will be caught. So just keep going. But like I said, I just I really want to be a part of such a wonderful group of people. And I 
I think that it would be a good fit for me to be an athlete for them because, like I said earlier, my my outlook on what the fitness industry needs is more compassion towards everybody of all walks of life, not just the physically fit or the ones that want to become physically fit, but to everybody, you know, no matter what background you come from, walk of life, uh, whatever the case might be, I want to be able to reach out and help everyone. And like I said earlier in this video as well, it's it's not about the money. It's not about, oh, look at me, I'm in the spotlight. I'm, I'm a sponsored athlete or I'm a professional bodybuilder. And, and like I said, that's definitely my goal. I love both of those. But the main goal and what puts a bigger smile on my face than either one of those ever will is knowing that I could help somebody, whether it's being a shoulder to lean on or staring them in what direction of supplements they like to use it, like I said it's the small things as well so whatever I can do to help anybody is is my goal and I, I think that would be a good fit for first form because like I said their their goals are basically the same thing they're there to help others they've got so many different ways that they reach out to people and they're helping them and They've done a lot for the fitness industry, and I just want to be a part of that. So that's definitely something I'm hoping can, you know, happen in the near future. But like I said, if it doesn't, so be it. I'm still going to help people. I'm still on here. I still want people to reach out to me. You know, we're all in this together, as many times that's been said by everyone we we are we're all in this together so we need to get the negativity out of the world and lean on more of the positivity because even from when i was a little kid it's just changed drastically it's it's how many likes we can get on tiktok and instagram and facebook and you know look at me and trying to post stuff that really isn't even you you know, you're just putting on false front just to get likes and I'm not singling anybody out I, I've done it too yeah I'm going to post this and you know hope it gets a lot of likes but that's not the that's not what this is about this is about helping others and lifting the world up because we all need that in this time and I just want to you know be a part of putting a smile on somebody's face and I've been rambling on here for a little over 28 minutes now but and I could go probably another 28 minutes but I, there's no need to I I just want to hop on here and you know introduce myself which I kind of straight off of that as well so if you've got any questions you know reach out to me like I said and just talk to me I'll get back with you as soon as I can and and we'll chit chat and if there's anything I can help with in the gym and outside of it by all means I will so hopefully that you know help somebody uh, reach somebody on more personal level level today and just makes people realize that you know there are people out here that do want to make a difference and there's a lot of us that do so i'm gonna hop off here i'm like i said headed out of town for work and gotta make that money sports family which like i said is not easy nowadays so gotta do that and juggle everything else so i'll be talking to y'all soon and i hope y'all have a, a great day and crush those goals if you don't have a, a goal set, set one, whatever that is. You got something you want to do, want to achieve this week, do it. You can do it. The sky's the limit. Anybody can achieve anything. If it's in your if it's in your head, then you can you can do it. So but I'm gonna hop off here. I love y'all.